<laughs> Hello, Hucky Toes! What's good? <laughs> what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Holy shit, thank you so much for all the love. Ah, I'll be honest with you. I was a little bit nervous to drop that one. <laughs> but I'm very, ha I'm very ha happy and very, very glad you guys liked it. Welcome, 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 welcome. The name is Bonsling Haka, the coolest and the cutest. Idol of Valsi no Kuri. How's it going? <laughs> ah, man. Thank you so much for all the gift that's thank you so much for all the super chats guys. Seriously, thank you so much. Thank you so 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 much. <laughs> I man, I uh, I had so much fun. I I seriously had so much fun recording that song. Like I said in my description, the moment I heard the song, I was like shit, I got to cover this. And when it comes to covering your own song, or when it comes to covering a song and making it your, your own, it's actually a very difficult thing to do. <laughs> but ah, <laughs> I'm actually very, very excited that I was able to add my own spice to it. <laughs> what you guys think? You guys liked it? It was a really difficult song to cover. The, cho the chorus was extremely high. It had a lot of layers. It had a bunch of like... Um... Like, it had a bunch of, like, recordings I actually had to do. So I'm actually very, very excited. Cookie, thank you so much for the 10 gifteds. Also, thank you so much for all the gifteds in the premiere as well, guys. Thank you so, 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 so much. Ah, manga! <laughs> thank you for the Akasupa! <laughs> ah, I'm gonna have to read all the super chats in a second, but... Ah, man, I'm... I'm so flustered. I don't know why I'm so fucking, like... I'm so nervous. Like, fuck. I don't know why I, like... It's such a... <laughs> it's such a weird feeling it legit feel like I'm, I'm fucking like debuting again or some shit like i just feel so so weird <laughs> ah <laughs> i'm very very happy you guys liked it though i'm seriously super super happy and super super grateful that you guys liked it i know i probably hyped this one up a little bit too much when it comes to like social media and all that but honestly speaking, it is what you have to do when you actually, you know, release stuff like this. I do want to keep everything I release a surprise. And I do want to keep it less, as in like, hee 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 hee, you know, small teasers here and there. But I'm actually very, very happy I decided to tease that one. Because you guys gave it an insane amount of love. And I have no fucking words. <laughs> thank you so, 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 so much. David! Thank you so much for the Akasupa! <laughs> Thank you so much. What the hell? Thank you so much for all the super chats, guys. Ah, Hiro-kun. Thank you so much. My idol, the best and the strongest. <laughs> so proud of you, Verbo. You all do yourself every time. Ah, <laughs> thank you. Man, this song was really fucking hard. Did you guys notice? Did you guys notice something? I actually recorded every single vocal layer there was in that song. I, I kind of want to show you guys something. You know, I usually upload the acapellas for my membership, but I do want to show you guys all the hard work that was put into the choir and everything. So let me see if I can hop and get the freaking acapella so I can show you guys. Cause that's like something I'm like really, really fucking like hyped about because Well, I'm stupid. I fucking muted my microphone. <laughs> Tilted Lemon, thank you so much for the Akasupa. What the fuck? Thank you so much. <laughs> if, if there's something that I pride myself of doing is honestly like studying a song and basically making it my own every time I do a cover. And it was funny because huge shout outs to seriously everyone that helped me with this cover. Chisu, thank you so much for the amazing art. Owerudu, thank you so much for the amazing video. Gratis, Melody, thank you so, so much for helping with the mix. And also, uh, Hi DL, thank you so much for providing me with the instrumental. It was funny because like um, the instrumental <laughs> person that I, that I was like talking to, they they were like oh haka yeah of course we have the version with and without like the the choir do you want it and i was like give me that shit naked immediately <laughs> i know thank you so much for this for the akasupa thank you so so much the strongest invincible idol <laughs> thank you so so much hold on it's uh it's so weird to talk to myself i'm fucking naked right now but let me show you guys a bit of the acapella that i'm very happy 
with. Can you guys hear this? Yo, Samandra, thank you so much for the Akasupa too. <laughs> you guys are fucking crazy. What the hell? Thank you so much. Seriously, thank you so, 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 so much. Let me see if I can um, capture the application audio. It's very hard to capture this in the freaking... Um... Uh, can you guys hear this? Can you guys hear this? Thank you for the Hakasupa, Samandra. Seriously, thank you so much. What more can I say that? Amazing. You killed and slayed. Awesome job, Haka. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, loud? Okay, sorry. My bad. I just really want to show you guys this. Let me show you guys the part I'm the proudest of. Wait. You're my savior. You're my savior. <laughs> you hear that? There was a lot, a lot of like layers in this. I basically recorded every single layer in this, and this is also the one in the ending. <laughs> Melody, Melody actually helped me a lot. My my two my timer and tuner they actually helped me. A whole bunch with like the choir parts and basically everything i want to see if i can actually get like the raw file so i can basically give you guys like a more in-depth of how that sounds like i'm not sure if i have it wait hold up okay yeah so this is basically how the raw sounds for like the last part you're my savior my true savior my saving this is basically 48 vocal tracks that <laughs> at the end <laughs> we had to do. So I don't know if you guys hear, there's a lot of ah, that basically is, let me show you guys, three stacks of three harmonies. I actually double layer each, each of them. So it sounds like this. <laughs> that's just the background vocals which is basically like the the stack for the right and we have like multiple layers of this which is the low layer i think this is the low layer no this is the low layer and then when you stack them up with a second layer And now with, oh, with all, the, all layers the layers together, oh, oh you, you, I can I hear, hear myself. myself. Now with all the layers together, it basically sounds like this. I'm really, really proud of that part. And I also want to show you guys how fucking awkward my hey, hey, hey sound like. <laughs> it's just so fucking funny because like I was in my room and I'm, I'm, I'm like thinking, what do my fucking neighbors think? Like, I was just in my room, like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Which is like, hey, hey. <laughs> like, cheering for my own fucking self in my room. <laughs> and this is the raw one for the one in the chorus. You're my savior, you're my saving grace. So uh, you, you, you can basically hear Opera Haka there. <laughs> a bunch of layers, a bunch of everything, and that's enough. <laughs> I'm not going to bore you guys with so many details, but I did work a lot on this cover, and I was actually really, really nervous on releasing it. Because <laughs> it's just like so much stuff that you have to do in order to sing a song like this, and especially if you want to make it like as accurate as possible. And I wouldn't have, you know, done it without like, all these amazing people seriously <laughs> so i'm actually so so fucking excited it's like ah uh, i really wish i knew more about music theory so i could basically apply it more when it comes to like making music like this because if there's actually something i do have a passion for is opera and i do want to showcase that a little bit more Especially when you have to make like choir stacks and like, you know, you basically have to record like a bunch of layers and basically make it your own. I really, really, really want to do that. <laughs> Jim Bog. <laughs> Welcome, dude. It's interesting. Thank you for sharing your behind the scenes work. Ah, um, man, I'm actually very, very happy. Do you guys want to hear the, hmm, I, I don't know if I want to show the, the whole acapella, but I, I kind of want to show you guys how the, the second chorus sounds like, because I'm actually very proud of that one. Would you guys like to hear it, just in the acapella? 
I usually upload all the acapellas for my covers on my membership for my tier two Hakitos. So if that's definitely something you're interested in, and you're also more than welcome if you ever do like a metal remix of my covers, if you ever want to do like an acoustic version of my covers, I, you're, you're completely authorized to do that. Like legitimately, I would fucking love it. Like seriously. Let me see if I can get that for you guys. I want to show you guys at least a second chorus because I did a lot, a lot <laughs> of stuff for it. Hold up. Let me mute this real quick. Uh... Black Lotus, thank you so much for the five gifted. Okay, I want to show you guys from like the break that I did. And I also want to show you guys like the second chorus in totality, because it's actually that's, that's like my, my favorite part of the cover. Like, or do you guys want to hear the rap too? You guys want to hear the rap? I'm really fucking proud of the rap. <laughs> Falco Sensei, Irashai. No, not all of it. I want to I want to show you guys the rap. Okay, I'm going to show you guys the rap in the second chorus. Cuz I'm really really proud of it. There's a bunch of like layering that I did for this too. So, listen, listen. Hi, hi, ano kova toku vetsu desu. Ware ware wa hana kara o make desu. Ohoshi sama no hikitate yaku bi desu. Subete ga ano kono wo ka get up. Look at nice, sala ku sai, nata me shit to nan to nai. Dude, that is the killer job with the portion. Kaso yuro sunai, kan piki ja nai, kimi ga juro sunai, jibon bo yuro sunai. Sara yo bu shi yo e kimi ga wa bitsu bi da. Dare mo ga senji wa kabetsuru. Masa ni sai kyo de mu te kiro wa I'm so fucking proud of that rap, dude. Uh, manga, thank you for the Akasupa. Ah, uh, I'm. I love the acapellas, man. I. What I love about acapellas is that it's legit like a fantastic way to study music. Like if you're like someone that makes that wants to make covers or you're someone that actually wants to like start, you know, like doing this by yourself, it's actually a really good way to like study how to do things. Like it's just like that's how I learn, you know? Back in the days where I was like basically learning and trying to do like <laughs> like studying and how ad libs, how like harmony arrange arrangements worked. I used to use programs to isolate the vocals and basically just study everything the singers did. And that's seriously a one hell of a way to learn. Yo, Cookie! <laughs> Thank you so much, the Akasupa! Gah! Haka slaying! <laughs> Thank you so much, Cookie. I appreciate it. I can finally read your name. <laughs> it's imprinted in my freaking head now. Takatakana is so confusing. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I don't know, man. I'm just so freaking happy. Haku, thank you for the 10 gifted. Like I was saying, I love uploading my acapellas because I know there's a bunch of people that really want to start like recording covers on their own and just try to like, you know, get started when it comes to like creating music and all that. So it is a lot of work that I usually have to put on for those covers. So that's why I usually keep them in tier two. But if it were by me, dude, I would literally keep this for like everyone. But, you know. Uh, doing covers is really expensive, and I at least need to <laughs> be a little bit like, you know, uh, it, it pains me because like I, I, I hate gatekeeping information. I hate keeping things behind a paywall, but, you know, I, I, I kind of have to do it sometimes. <laughs> but I'm, I'm very, very happy that my Hakitos are generous enough to allow some Hakitos to listen to the acapellas. Like, seriously, thank you so much for being so sweet, guys. Kill me, thank you so much for the five gift. It's also Skylar, thank you for the super chat. But, like I was saying, that's that's basically how I learned about the concept of, like, doubles, the concept of, like, layers. I, I basically isolated vocals from my favorite covers. And I started to, like, develop my ear so I could basically listen to how things work. And once your ear has like that capacity of understanding how music work, you can basically study things like intervals in music theory, which is basically singing in thirds, fifths, fourths, which they are usually like the main, you know, like base for like harmonies and stuff like that. 
I would love to talk more about music theory. I do not know much about music theory myself, but I would really, really love to get more knowledgeable and I would really want to do music theory learning streams. I think it would be fantastic to actually do it. <laughs> I love, I love teaching. I love studying. It's amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Seriously. Thank you so, 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 so much. <laughs> There's actually a bunch of acapellas, not just for Idol. Every single cover that I do, I try to at least put the acapella. And at least for the duets that I do with the other guys, I really want to have them upload the video themselves on their channel as well, because I would never make you pay two memberships just to listen to, like, you know, like the acapella for collab. So... Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much, guys. Betanadia, thank you so much for the super chat. And Fujojo and Dodo, thank you for the gifteds. <laughs> I really appreciate them. But uh, I'm so fucking hyped, dude. Uh, uh, <laughs> I put so much work into this cover. <laughs> uh, it was so funny because, like, I actually had a, another cover for this month. And I was, like, planning on releasing it still, right? And I was just like, you know what? Like, when I heard the song, I was like, hold up. And I told my Manichan, Manichan, what can we do about this? <laughs> and Manichan was like, I, mean, I don't know, do you want to cover this song, Haka? And I was like, is that even a question, Manichan? And my Manichan, she's seriously so goaded. She got me permissions and everything so we could speed run this cover. Like, legit. It was such... A wild trip to get this cover out of time because <laughs> that's that's kind of what i want to do you know like whenever you listen to a song that is really difficult you really want to like give yourself a challenge and i felt really 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 like like i wanted to do this song because this song is basically not like something i've done before so i really wanted to like challenge myself to record a, a song that's basically not really in the style that i usually sing but i, I also wanted to like make it my own you know? Because, like, the thing about covers is that you can really make covers your own. It's, like, a matter of, like, how do you execute certain things, right? There's nothing wrong when you really want to be faithful to the original, like, source and the original content. In fact, I, I sometimes love that because I find the art of, like, replicating the singer style very fantastic. Because sometimes you can learn through imitation, but sometimes when you learn through imitation, it's not the best... Um, the best thing to to actually, you know, do. <laughs> but I'm legit so, so freaking excited. And, uh, man, I'm... Uh, uh, I'm uh, I fucking love music! <laughs> I legit love, love music, man! Uh, I, want to just, I just want to shake, like, I, I shake you guys! I love singing! <laughs> I love singing for you guys! Fuck! <laughs> It makes me so freaking happy to seriously sing. Uh, <laughs> Neko, thank you so much for the Akasupa. What the fuck? Thank you, for, thank you so much for being so kind. <laughs> you guys are so sweet. Seriously, thank you so, so, so much, Hakitos. Thank you for being ah, so generous. Uh, legit, I'm, uh, I'm so freaking excited. Ah, I kind of want to spoil some things I'm kind of working on. I'll be honest with you. Because my other cover that I have coming up, I kind of went really, really hard on that one. I really went super, super hard on that one. And I did to, I tried to actually apply a lot of like the knowledge that I've acquired, especially in like, you know, like music modes and stuff like that. And I really can't wait for you guys to hear it, but I really want to spoil you like a small arrangement I actually did. But at the same time, my Manichan is holding me here at gunpoint. And she's like, please don't spoil it. It's so good. And she's typing back. And I'm staring at the chat. <laughs> but I think she doesn't know that I already spoiled it on Twitter. <laughs> she she's like what <laughs> man my manichan my manichan had like she she seriously has like such a packed weekend 
Vespi's cover that I didn't even know of is coming tomorrow to you, so I'm actually very excited for that one. Please, guys, if you have time, please, 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 I beg of you, please, 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 please listen to Vespi's cover. Shinigami is such a fantastic song by Kenshi Onesu, and I, ah, I'm so happy. I, I, I seriously can't wait for Vesper, like, to, to actually, like, release that. I, I really want to listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> Vesper is so happy. Vesper is actually, I mean, Vesper is really nervous, but I'm I'm actually so, so happy for him because I really want to listen how he did. Akiha, thank you for the Akasupa. I'm proud of you. I love you. <laughs> thank you so much. Ah, I can't wait. <laughs> that thumbnail, that thumbnail Mana-chan did for that cover is so good too for the Satsu. <laughs> Ah, uh, let me take a little drink. <laughs> ah, I'm so happy! My boys are doing music! <laughs> Man, what a month. What a freaking month. We have Kickback from Axel, Monster from freaking Battle. Ah, I'm so excited. I'm so fucking excited. We have Shinigami from Best for who the fuck is gonna drop another song out of nowhere, you know? Like. It makes me so happy. It makes me so freaking happy. Like, uh, I want more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> music is life, man. You guys have no idea how much music means to me. Like, seriously. Like, legit, legit, legit. Whenever, whenever the guys approach me and they, they ask me for their opinion on something, or whenever I listen to like certain things, it just makes me so freaking happy. I'll be like, <sighs> <sighs> but yes, <laughs> I digress. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for the support. Seriously, like this month has been really, really crazy with all the things that have been happening. The Rust arc <laughs> has been one of the wildest arcs we've done. <laughs> ah, I just. Man, uh, I feel so much like appreciation and I'm so, so grateful that I'm able to do this as my job, you know, like the Rust arc is amazing and it's sadly coming to an end, but all the funny memories we've done are gonna live with me forever. Seriously. <laughs> ah, music changed lives, dude. Music saves lives. It literally saved my life too. Like, no joke. <laughs> But yeah, I want to I want to show you guys something actually that I, my my manager already told me that I can show it to you guys. So I want to see if I can show you guys. What is this? Oh yeah, let me see if I can show you guys what I'm talking about. I'm gonna show you guys a little spoiler of my next cover. Nothing that you guys can recognize. If you guys know this song, I'll be freaking surprised. But it is definitely something that I'm really proud of. Wait, let me get it. Let me chop it. Let me chop it, because... Let me chop it, because I, I, I'm not sure here. I'm not sure here. I think I have a really niche taste in music, but a motherfucker just gotta be like, yeah, I like to listen to whale noises in this frequency. It's my favorite uh, indie rock music. And I'll be like, what? <laughs> you never fucking know. <laughs> like, I'm gonna get like a really like music savvy Hakito out of nowhere. That's gonna be like, oh yeah, that band from like freaking like you know like like that small little remote island. I love that fucking band, bro. And I'm like, what? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Yo, Sefi, thank you so much. Oh, I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show you guys a small arrangement that I did. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna show you guys from that. I actually uploaded this in the voice tweet the other day. <laughs> and I, I honestly can't wait for you guys to listen to it. <laughs> I worked really, really hard on the arrangement for that song, and I, uh, I just can't wait to release it too. <laughs> oh, you know what song this is? There's no fucking way, dude. I'll pay you a thousand dollars if you tell me right now what song it is. 
Not you. <laughs> you heard this before? There's no fucking way. There's absolutely no way. If you actually did, holy shit, beast. But if you don't, if you don't know it, you don't know it. <laughs> it's not a lucky Morpheus, but I would love to sing a lucky Morpheus. They're so fucking good. Hakinjo, best idol, bless. <laughs> Chulo, thank you so much, dude. Ah, I'm so happy. Uh, dude, I was so nervous. I was so freaking nervous. <laughs> I was so nervous. I even messaged Stop Sun, our director, and I was like, Stop Sun, I'm really nervous. <laughs> and he was like, I heard it already. It's pretty good. And I was like, What? <laughs> and then I forget that he has like absolute power towards all our channels. <laughs> And I was like, huh? I was like, oh yeah, true. <laughs> I don't know why I feel so nervous, man. Like legit, I'm just really freaking excited. Like this has been like the hardest like song I probably have recorded like in like this this year, I guess. <laughs> no, it's it's funny because it's not even my Monachan. My Monachan like knows everything I do, right? Because, like, they're basically my immediate boss. But, honestly speaking, all the Holo Stars, like, stuff, they're very sweet. They're very, very kind. And they, they support me and my silly endeavors. And I'm honestly super, super grateful with how kind they are and how comforting they can be whenever we're having a bad time. <laughs> but I was not having a bad time. I was just, like, filled with so much excitement that I just really needed to, like, talk to someone. <laughs> you know, sometimes... You just need somebody to tell you everything's got to be all right, Haka. And I'm really, really happy that they're that amazing, you know? <laughs> but yeah, that's um, that's today's cover. <laughs> uh, I'm so happy you guys liked it. Seriously, guys, uh, I'm so, so, so happy. So, so, so happy. I, I, I really worked super, super hard on it. So I just can't wait. <laughs> I really, really can't wait. Everything's going to be great. I hope so. Everything's gonna be all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's 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 kind of what I also want to do. You know, that's all. That's that's actually one of the plans that I have. I want to have a cover with every single Holo Star member. Every single one of them. No exception. Absolutely no exception. My goal is to collab with every single of my brothers. <laughs> I would love to cover a song with absolutely everyone. First, of course, I'm going to, you know, start covering songs with my boys, my, my BD boys, my Bangar boys. And <laughs> it's just going to go on from there. It, it, I, I am very, very, of course, absolutely every, every Holostar member. Of course, it's, you know, like some, some, some covers might come faster than others because you know it really depends on like the workload that we all have i know they're extremely busy and i really don't want to be like hey please sing song with me immediately <laughs> so it's just a matter of like you know waiting to see how available they are and how and how like you know how willing they are too because if they don't want to cover a song with me that's absolutely fine too but it's like a dream and like a goal that i want to achieve while being here I want to be able to collab with every single one of them. <laughs> you quit your job, join my emo band. We're gonna do freaking Linkin Park covers. <laughs> that would be amazing, dude, imagine. But yeah, speaking of Linkin Park, you know I fucking love singing Linkin Park. We're gonna do a, a karaoke tomorrow. I actually have a lot planned for that karaoke as well. <laughs> Brand new songs that I haven't sang before. Some songs that I know some of you guys will go fucking crazy for. And some really challenging songs as well. I'm doing my best to learn them so I can give the best performance tomorrow. So I'm, I'm actually very, very, very excited for it too. <laughs> Akiha, thank you so much for the three months in Hakito Supremo. I appreciate it. <laughs> thank you so much. I'll keep flying high. That's what I do. Linkin Park cover when? Man, don't get me started there. I would love to cover every single Linkin Park song. 
<laughs> Yo, Asylum, thank you so much for the three months as well. And Hakita Supremo, thank you so, 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 so much. Oh, by the way, by the way, I know some of you guys were really confused over why some comments looked like they already heard the cover. Uh, that's actually one of the perks that I have for my tier 4 Hakitos, the full-fledged burp sources. They actually do have access to the cover at least one or two days early. They have like 24, 24 hours to listen to it, and then I make the premiere. <laughs> I feel I'm so mean when I do that, because I just imagine like somebody listening to the cover, and they're like, Whoa, this shit hits! And then they fucking like, uh, they, uh, they, <laughs> they refresh the page, and they're like, Fuck! <laughs> Now you gotta wait 24 hours. <laughs> it's just a, it's just a way of thanking them, honestly, for supporting me. You know, like some people really support me out of the goodwill of their heart, and that's honestly one of the few things that I can do for all the support you guys give me. Every single Hakito, of course, is like very, very appreciated. But I do have to, <laughs> I kind of have to like, you know, give them a little bit of something so they can actually, you know, enjoy themselves and be that. But yes, <laughs> that's the reason why it looks like that. That's the reason why <laughs> they look like time travelers and you guys are like, what? And also they receive a, a special shout out at the end of uh, every cover or every original that I sing. I basically write their name there. Just as like a small little thank you. <laughs> it's like Nocturnal Bloodlust. I would love to cover Nocturnal Bloodlust, dude. There's a Nocturnal Bloodlust song that I really like called Thank You. I remember when the MV dropped for that one. Dude, I was freaking the fuck out. Because legit, it was like such a style swap for them as a band. And it literally, literally made me go fucking ham. It made me go so fucking crazy. And... I was so heartbroken when I found out they took down the MV for some reason. They took down the MV for some reason, and I was just like, no! But then they released an album, and it was there, and I was like, ah, okay, that's fine. <laughs> but the MV was so good. It's called Thank You. Yeah, it's called Thank You for Nocturnal Bloodlust. They have to be one of my favorite, like, heavy visual K bands. They're so fantastic. They're, they're legit so, 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 so amazing. If you guys haven't heard Nocturnal Bloodlust, definitely give them a listen actually Ike, one of my buddies i don't know if you guys know Ike. he actually covered um a nocturnal bloodlust song with i think it's two of their two of his senpais it sounds really amazing so definitely give it a ch check it out if you want if you guys want to listen to it it's so so good yeah <laughs> it's fantastic it's uh i love it when people cover heavy music and honestly speaking i i really want to keep covering heavy music I want to cover way, way more metal songs, and I want to do, like, more metal covers. If anything, I'm also thinking of possibly transforming songs that are not metal into metal. But that's definitely uh, <laughs> a project that I really have to think through pretty, pretty well. It will be something that I would love to do. And it's all thanks to you guys. All thanks to your support. When you guys support me, you guys are so kind and very well receiving of the things that I push out there. It just makes me really, really, really happy. And it just inspires me to do more stuff for you guys. And I really want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Like, thank you so, so, so freaking much for being so kind and welcoming. All your support, all your sweet comments, your sweet hellos whenever you guys are in pre-chat. Every single thing matters to me. It's just not really about like the, oh, membership gifts and super chats. Yeah, sure. That helps a lot to fund some of my projects. But the fact that you guys watch my VODs, the fact that you guys are here in presence, it just makes me so, so freaking happy. And I couldn't really be, uh, I really couldn't be not thankful for you guys. Like you guys are seriously doing so much for me. And sometimes I feel I'm not doing enough. And I really want to change that. I really want to take this as serious as I can. And I want to keep providing and providing and providing more content for you guys. I absolutely adore you all. And I'm really, really thankful. Like, seriously. <laughs> thank you so, so much for all your kindness. And thank you so much as well for being so, so... Ah, I just have no words. Thank you so much for being so generous as well. The fact that you guys give membership for the Hakitos so they can enjoy membership content is honestly just amazing but speaking of membership content as well i'm going to be doing a watch along of the hypnosis mike anime uh next week it's probably going to be on saturday that's an anime that i really want you guys to watch with me because i kind of want to do like uh how, how to say this 
I kind I kind of want to watch all the music theme animes with you all <laughs> because I feel it's very in character. So we're probably going to watch the Hypnosis Mike um, anime next week or at least watch the first six episodes of it. And then in the another membership uh, stream, we can finish watching it. I think it'll be a really, really good thing to do. <laughs> I just love music and anything anything music related, anything that is very niche, especially when it comes to like certain like bands that I like, like Magatsunoto, uh, Juroaxia, you know, Hypnosis Mike, uh, Paradox Live, which is also releasing an anime. I'm really fucking hype about it. I really want to watch with you guys. Ah, it makes me so, so happy. Before DJ, I've heard of it. <laughs> In fact, the reason why I found out about D4DJ is because of the freaking meme. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the meme where they're in the circle looking down. The fucking meme just makes me laugh so much. <laughs> but I would love to watch, you know, all those animes with you guys. I know it's not really for everybody, but trust me when I say this, some of these animes are really fucking good. I would love to, of course, I would love to watch Given, Utapri, so, so many things with you guys. <laughs> so if that's certainly something you like, I would definitely like encourage you to either join my membership or just hang out here. Our very, very kind Hagito might give you membership. <laughs> so don't even worry about not being able to afford it. I mean, if you, if you can afford it, that's completely fine. But sometimes you might get lucky, you know? Some Hagitos are very special snipers here. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Sambiland Saga is really good. You know, I actually only watched like two episodes of Sambiland Saga. I watched uh, just two episodes, I think. May I introduce you to Idolish 7? Isn't Idolish 7 the guy? Fuck. Isn't Adonis a character from Idolish 7? Or am I fucking crazy? I think I might be crazy. Yo, Manga, thank you so much for the 50 gifteds. What the fuck? Oh no, that's N-Stars, right? That's N-Stars. Yeah, that's N-Stars. That's N-Stars. That's N-Stars. N-Stars. That's Ensemble N-Stars. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's the Ensemble Stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love his character design. I actually love their music. I. <laughs> you know what's something I really want to do someday? Oz, oh, thank you so much for the five gifteds. Thank you so much for all the gifteds, guys. Seriously, thank you so, so much. But yeah, something I really want to do, like while being here in Hollow Stars, I want to release a really, 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 really idle song. <laughs> I want to, I want to drop. Okay, listen, here's the plan, right? Here's the plan. Here's the plan. Hear me out. Hear me out. You guys are ready? You guys are ready? You guys are ready? You guys are ready? I want to release like the nastiest fucking metalcore song I've ever done. With like the nastiest fucking like breakdown. And then release like the cutest fucking idol song ever. <laughs> like I, I, I want you guys to like compare and contrast. Because <laughs> I can do both. <laughs> I can do both. <laughs> like I want to release a song like the... <laughs> like the nastiest fucking like like fucking toilet bowl like breakdown ever but i also want to be like ah ah instead of <laughs> i really want to do that <laughs> i want to <laughs> i want to cause fucking whiplash i want you guys to be like what <laughs> I really, that's like my fucking dream. That's my actual freaking dream. I really, really, really want to do that someday. And I want you guys to freak the fuck out. I want you guys to be like, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm seriously, I can be your angle and your devil. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the baby metal effect. Honestly, yeah. Honestly. I, don't, I think I've I, I, I talked about this story before, but I, I had a co-worker who was like super anti-anime. Like, we were friends because we really liked like the same music. Like, we loved the same like metalcore bands. We loved like the same like, like, you know, the same aspects of music, right? Yo, thank you so much for your first super chat. Honto ni arigato gozaimasu. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Chulo, thank you for the super chat. No, I don't think you guys are insured. But I, I have a friend, right? 
I still talk to him, and it's funny. It's funny, because it's one of the few friends that they know, like, they know really vaguely about my job, but they don't really know, like, the whole details of it. But this friend of mine, he was, like, super anti-anime. Like, this guy was, like, the most, like, stubborn fucker I've ever met in my whole life when it came to anime. And the good thing is that in common, you know, we have, like, a lot of, like, things in common, especially when it comes to, like, music, when it comes to stuff like that, right? And I quit that job. We still talked, but the last two years, we really didn't talk that much, right? And... On Discord, there's a way to share your freaking Spotify, like, status. Like, what are you listening to? What are you doing? And I was just minding my own business. Just sitting one day playing freaking, like, Minecraft. And I was like, huh. I wonder what my friends are doing. And I saw, I saw that fucker. I caught him in four fucking K. Listening to baby metal. <laughs> I took a screenshot and I sent it to him. And I was like, question mark? And he was like, I'm a changed man now, Haka. <laughs> I'm a changed man now, Hanka. And I was, I was just like, bro, what happened to you? <laughs> like, the guy was, like, so anti-anime. Anti, like, you know, like, like, he was very, like, the true embodiment of, like, metal. Like, he's legit, like, like, guy that wears, like, a freaking jean, like, jacket, long hair, long beard, patches. He has, like, fucking Iron Maiden, ACDC, Metallica, right? Like, he was, like, a metal man like a freaking like nasty nasty super metal guy like super into metal and i talked to him and i was like bro what happened <laughs> and it was a question mark and he was just like i'm just a changed man now haka you know <laughs> people change and i was just like you know what i respect the grind <laughs> I, I really respect the grind and then we we caught up because we, we legit didn't talk for like two years. We cut up and we just talked, right? Like we, we usually talk pretty often. I actually play, <laughs> you know what I do with him? <laughs> I play domino with him. I don't know if you guys know dominoes, but usually um, sometimes like once a year we do like a meetup and we play fucking dominoes. <laughs> and we're just like, like chilling, fucking like talking together. And... <laughs> The last time we met up, I was just like, bro, you ever heard of Bishop K? And like his eyebrows like fucking lifted. He was like, what'd you say? Bishop K? And I was like, yeah, Bishop K. <laughs> Would you like to hear about my Lord and Savior, the Gazette? Would you like to hear about my Lord and Savior, Daring Gray? And he was just like, mmm, sign me the fuck up. <laughs> and now, dude, he fucking watched Bishop Prison just because I told him. <laughs> It's just like, brother, you changed my fucking life. <laughs> like, it's so fucking funny to see how he converted like so hard just because of like baby metal. And you know how he discovered baby metal? I bet you. I, I, I like he discovered baby metal because of a fan made animation. And he was just like, bro, this this fucks. <laughs> this fox man and he started listening to baby metal and then he really fell down like the freaking um the rabbit hole i wouldn't be surprised if he's actually into vtubers if you're watching this bro you recognize my voice hey what's up <laughs> but uh, the power of media is honestly fucking amazing also space and congrats on your on your graduation thank you so so much for watching and thank you so much for the super chat your first super chat Oh man, it's it's just so beautiful. It's just so magical whenever stuff like that happens. Because I've been there. I've been there not with metal because I like ever since I was a little kid, I was always edgy, right? Like I really never I really never um like I never stopped liking metal, but I did like for example, in Sinakuri, we have a genre of music that is very specific, right? And I was always like, I hate that. Ugh, I hate that, right? And now that I listen to it, I'm just like, you know what? It's kind of fucks. <laughs> so it's it, it's so funny. It's so fucking funny whenever whenever that happens to a friend. Yeah, it's yeah, it's reggaeton. I don't like old reggaeton, but 
some of it, it's kind of silly, and I like it. <laughs> uh, but it's so good, man. It makes me so happy. <laughs> Yo, Shingo, thank you so much for the super chat. Today's your 26th birthday. Can you sing me a traditional Sinakuni birthday song? Shit, that's the... Uh, estas son las mañanitas que cantaba el rey David. Hoy por ser tu cumpleaños, te las cantamos a ti. Happy birthday, Shingo. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> That's such a traditional Sinakuni song. <laughs> I'm honestly, one thing I thought about that for my birthday merch, I should have, um, made like a freaking voice back singing singing the mañanitas for you ah <laughs> oh, man i love music <laughs> what yo paloma <laughs> that's sick <laughs> thank you so much dude I didn't like metal before, but someday I suddenly became a metal music lover, so I can understand his mood. Yeah, it's like, the thing about music is that there's like so many music genres that you really don't have to stick to one. But the fact that music is just so freaking universal, it's really fantastic. Like, I know my music is not for everybody. I know some, some people don't really like my vocal texture. Some people don't like, for example, if I... If I only cover like a bunch of like metal music, they'll probably be like, oh, that's so much metal. What the heck? And that's fine. You know, like that's why I always try to bring variety to my content and stuff like that. So music, music is universal, dude. I feel the best way to break any language barriers or anything like that is just like, you know, not like if there's a barrier, you can probably break it with music. I feel sharing sharing music is really the best thing to do. <laughs> it's amazing. Dude, Miranda is one of my favorite bands. You know what I've actually been listening to? I've been listening to Esteban. He's pretty fucking good too. I love um I love his style. It's really, really good. Carol on Tuesday is also really good anime. I watched that one already. I <laughs> I like the very cocky guy that sings pop. He's so fucking funny, dude. <laughs> Ah, uh, man. Music is great. I fucking love music. I used to hate I used to hate um Spanish music when I was um younger. Like I was like so like anti like Sinokuni music. But now I, I've actually like discovered like a bunch of gems that I would seriously recommend. It's just so good. Like Miranda, Los Banda Los Chinos. Um, Steman, that's mainly what I'm listening to, which is kind of like indie music, if I'm not mistaken. It's like indie rock, but also like they have like their own vibe. It's really, really good. But now that I just appreciate music in all shapes and forms, it's just beautiful. You know, music, it's just, uh, music is great. <laughs> music is amazing. It's so, so good. I respect that you don't <laughs> like reggaeton, but not loving classic, right? Yeah, I mean, there's there's music and there's music. You know what I mean? <laughs> if you like modern music, that's also fine. But if you if if you like like classic music, that's also fine too. <laughs> uh, man, I fucking love music. That's for sure, though. It just makes me so freaking happy. It makes me so so so. Ah. Uh. I, I I really don't want to talk about music the whole day. <laughs> like, legit, I could make this satsuna for, like, fucking 10 hours if we just talked about music. Because, like, there's, like, several, like, cans of worms that you can actually get me, like, open with, you know? <laughs> like, if you if you ask me about Vocaloid, I'll go in a tangent. If you ask me about Metalcore, I'll go in a tangent. There's so much stuff. <laughs> uh, so much stuff. Better bring the boys in again. <laughs> the boys are busy. I think Flay Flay is having a collab with Dopi. Dopio. And I think Battle is probably eating ice cream. And Shinri is uh, sleeping. <laughs> that man grinded Rust. Holy shit. I, I can't believe that he grinded Rust so hard. <laughs> it's legit insane. I've listened to Tokyo Hotel. I love the Monsoon song. I listened to Tokyo Hotel when I was in seventh grade and I had a classmate that she was absolutely in love with them. 
Tokyo Hotel is probably one of the bands that I remember the most because of their freaking style. And also because they kind of remind me of the era where blood on the dance floor was a thing. <laughs> and... <laughs> Dude, those times were fucking insane. <laughs> I would love to have, um, I would love to cover, not gonna cover, maybe sing like a couple like Tokyo Hotel songs and karaoke. <laughs> My name is literally because of Bill Collins. Weren't they like brothers? Like Bill and Kevin Collins? Kevin? I think it's Kevin, right? But yeah, dude. Oh god. <laughs> it's. It's such a fucking time. Like, legit. I, <laughs> I Sometimes I go back into it, and I, like... Whenever I go into, like, a nostalgia trip with, like, music, I listen to, like, Rice Against. I listen to, like, freaking, you know, Black Veil Brides. And my YouTube just keeps feeding music into me. And <laughs> sometimes I go into that rabbit hole of, like, the really, like, alt music back then the techno techno goth people dancing <laughs> it's 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 so fucking funny it's legit such a such an adventure dude have i heard get scared i haven't actually dude jork <laughs> freaking jork man uh i miss those days i really miss those days where things were simpler i miss those days where people were just like emo i want that time to be back <laughs> My friend discovered Tokyo Hotel recently, and she's been obsessing over them. Dude, honestly speaking, I am not the biggest Tokyo Hotel fan, but they do have, like, a couple of good songs that I, I you know, remember listening when I was younger. It's really not a phase. It was never a phase for me. It's who I truly am. I'm the Prince of Darkness. I'm the cutest and the coolest Prince of Darkness. I'm fucking juicy from Hypnosis Mike, dude. That's me. I'm just gonna like, you know, if I had if I had hands right now, I'll put them in my in my face. And I'll be like, ha ha. <laughs> I'll be like, oh, darkness. My friend, my beloved. <laughs> oh God, I fucking love me too, man. <laughs> I never grew up, dude. I fucking never grew up. <laughs> Haka, you gonna do a visual case style second outfit? Mm, maybe. If we ever get a second outfit, though, it'd be cool, though. That's for sure an idea. It's never a face. It would never be a face. It's who I truly am, mom. <laughs> Dude, Jushi's so good, man. Fuck. I love... <clears throat> I love how... Like, man. I can't wait. I, I, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Hypnosis Mike, man. Hypnosis Mike. We're gonna watch Hypnosis Mike. We're gonna wait for the second season. We're gonna watch it. I can't wait for my boys to be represented, man. Fuck. Bass Temple. Mwah, my beloved. Ah, man. <laughs> Dude, Dopo so good, man. <laughs> I was Dopo when I when I used to work for for a company. That I, I was Dopo when I when I used to have like my office job. I was severely underpaid, severely overworked. <laughs> it's so relatable, yeah, dude. Kuko is so amazing, though. Ah. Ah, uh, man. Man. So good, so good, so good. I love Hypnosis Mike. I would love to cover a Hypnosis Mike song someday. I was actually thinking of doing something crazy. Something funky. I wanted to, like, cover, like, the whole, like, Hypnosis, um... Rap Division by myself. And kind of, like, mimic their style and stuff like that. <laughs> but I think that would be a really challenging, like, thing to do. But I think it would be really cool to do. I think it'll be really cool to like try to at least imitate every single style of them. Man, I fucking love Hypnosis Mike, man. Why is what <laughs> Shake them become more popular? <laughs> Hip Mike, yeah, Hip Mike songs are very freaking hard, dude. 
Ah, uh, I love them so much, man. Become more popular, please, Bussy. Huck up begs you. Please collab with me too, bro. Hip Mike is already popular. They are popular, but I want them to be more popular. I want them to be more, more, more popular because they deserve it. I want them to become even more popular. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think they're very popular in Japan, though. I think there's like, of course, right? There's like a bunch of like dedicated fans over here as well. But I think they're very, very popular in Japan. But I love to cover hip mic songs. They're great. <laughs> we'll be seeing a hip mic collab with Fuma Senpai. And, dude, that would be that would be a good idea. I love Fuma Senpai. He's so sweet. He messaged me the other day. <laughs> And he was like, Haka. And I was like, yes. Do you like this song? And he sent me a song. And I was like, I like it too. It's pretty good. I know about this song. He's like, whoa. And then he sent me another song. Haka, do you like this song? And I was like, yeah, I like it. I actually know this song because of TikTok. He's like, wow, you know so much music. <laughs> and that was the conversation we had. <laughs> he was just like, wow. <laughs> He's so sweet, man. Yeah, I, I, I love my senpais. They're really, really nice. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's probably not used to, like, people knowing that much, like, Japanese music. I think, like, me and Axel are very, like, knowledgeable in, like, Japanese music. For, like, you know, otaku culture and stuff like that. So I think he was just really like, whoa, you know this? <laughs> man, I insist, man. I really want to learn Japanese so I can keep talking to them i really want to become better friends with them <laughs> seriously yeah dojing music that's that's a that's really the term for it honestly it's just great well i mean yeah axel speaks japanese of course it's pretty obvious right but you know what i mean <laughs> ah music's music's great man music's fucking great more duolingo time no i mean yes duolingo time but i actually um I'm in the talks with getting a private tutor so they can teach me Japanese. They're actually someone that kind of docks in them, but not really docks in them. They went to a competition in Japan. I think it's called Nodo Mono Jikan or something like that. But they actually went to like a really big competition in Japan <clears throat> and they speak uh, pretty fluent Japanese. And they're like a really, really good friend of mine. And I think they might, I might pay them for like um like japanese like private lessons those are way better in in general mm -hmm. those are way better because i feel that the thing with like i have really mixed opinions with like schools and stuff like that because like as much as i love how everything has revolutionized and everything has become like online and stuff like that and i fucking love it don't get me wrong i feel sometimes for my brain it's really hard to like adapt whenever i'm like staring at a screen right <clears throat> like my brain just gets so freaking distracted because my bed is right behind me my switch is here uh my phone is right in front of me and i get so freaking distracted right so i feel that if i go to like a physical place and i sit down in like a school it's way, way easier for me to zone myself in and soak as much knowledge as I can. Because it also happened to me with the gym too. Like for example, I have like a couple of weights in my house and I have like a treadmill, right? Sometimes I go into the treadmill, I put up music, I watch some anime, right? I, I, I run, I walk, and then I'm just like, eh, I'm gonna eat ice cream. Eh, I'm gonna lay down in bed. Because I'm there. In my house but if i go to a physical gym i'm like pressured to actually do exercise i do go to the gym yeah i do go to the gym i used to do like home workouts but now i go to the gym like a physical gym i, I actually like lift weights a lot because i want to you know build up <laughs> but i just feel it's the same it's the same thing with like school in my in my case and i just really want to go to like a physical school so i can really really like learn japanese my one of my goals while being here in holosters as well 
is to um it's to actually uh be fluent in japanese by when i'm you know when i'm here <laughs> so i really want to become fluent in japanese or at least like somewhat fluent so i can keep my studies in the future but yes 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 i can do it ah my motivation is up there i'll be honest with you because i'm really 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 motivated to keep 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 playing 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 keep learning but also uh, i'm so lazy man <laughs> i'm not really proud of myself sometimes you know sometimes my brain just goes like mm, that bed looks so nice i'm just gonna <laughs> I've become lazy, man, and I hate that. I hate that because like well, I work very hard on some things uh, I'm, I'm so <laughs> I'm a fraud guys. I'm a fucking fraud <laughs> I'm such a fucking fraud I'm such a fraud like like I, I really bust my ass for some things, you know, I really bust my ass for like certain stuff but sometimes I just get so lazy and so eepy and, you know, I just, I just take like five naps a day. But that doesn't mean I don't work. <laughs> I do work pretty hard. <laughs> uh, but yes, my hakitos. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is one of the most relatable things you've said. Dude, I, I, I want to be as relatable as I can. But I don't think you fight for your life in the jungle every single day. <laughs> Unless I don't fucking know. Every day for me is a battle. You never know if an anaconda is gonna be in your fucking backyard. It's gotta fight you there with your dog and you have to like save it. You never know. <laughs> That's me, dude. This Sinokuni, <laughs> this Sinokuni jungle is hard. <laughs> it's just imposter syndrome. Don't believe. <sighs> I hate blaming it on that, but that's it's kind of real. I'll be honest with you. Sometimes I get like the maddest like imposter syndrome and it's bad. <laughs> it's really bad. It's really, really bad. It's really, really bad. But then whenever I feel like that, I read all your comments. I literally look at all the fan art <clears throat> that you guys make for me. And then I'm just like, shit. Well, I'll be damned. I'm pretty loved. <laughs> and then it's just gone. <laughs> It happens, you know, it, it really happens. It really happens, especially when you're like in the creative industry and the, and the entertainment industry. It's still so hard to feel like you're, you know, like sometimes that's like my, I have three weaknesses in life. I have three weaknesses in life. Cheesecake is the first one. <laughs> my lactose intolerance. <laughs> And my anxiety. <laughs> Those are my three weaknesses in life. <laughs> one, one goes more in hand with the other one. Well, I mean, the three of them going hand with the other one, because when I feel really anxious, I eat cheesecake. And I, I'm lactose intolerant. And you know what happens when that happens, you know? The three of them, they go by hand, and they're very, very collective for some freaking reason. <laughs> and it's all it's the deadly cycle it goes full circle it goes full full circle but for some reason dude my stomach is so fucking wonder sometimes i can eat entire blocks of cheese and i'm unstoppable but sometimes i take a small sip of milk like a small sip because i fucking hate soy milk don't ever give me soy milk i'll die a combustion fire but sometimes you know you you crave you crave the milk juice you you, you crave the cow juice you know what i mean and you take a, a fat cup of like milk like easy right and you just stare you just stare at the cup and you're like fuck <laughs> <laughs> and nothing happens but sometimes i have the smallest bit of cheese and i'm done for it's bad. The milk juice. <laughs> the cow juice. The cow juice. That's what I meant. <laughs> you love soy milk? <sighs> no, not a fan. I prefer oat and almond. 
almond milk, I'm st starting to get really sick of it, I'll be honest with you, because my mom loves uh, almond milk. And I actually, I, I, I shoot her with the, man, it must be really hard to milk these almonds to make this jug of milk. And she just stared at me. She stared at me for like five minutes, and then she just like looked down. Like she gave me like the stinkiest like fucking eye, like like so, like, like she she gave me like the like the nastiest stare ever. And she's just like, you're not fucking funny, you know. <laughs> and I was just like so, I was like so so cheeky. I was like, wow, man, it must be really hard to catch these almonds and milk them, right, mom? <laughs> we were at the supermarket. And I'm a really loud speaker. <laughs> and I think people heard me too. And she's just like, you're so fucking embarrassing. I'm never taking you out again. <laughs> uh, but I, I prefer oat milk. I'll be honest with you. I prefer oat milk. I had the honor of tasting cashew milk. Not really a fan, but oat milk is probably the best one for me. Does almond cheese exist? Uh, I'm not really sure. I think uh, soy alternatives for like cheese exist, which I had a couple and they're pretty good, but mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. Soy milk, unless I brew it myself, which yes, I can brew my own like uh, soy milk. I really don't like it. I'll be like a hundred percent honest with you. I hate soy milk. The Koinami! Woo! Welcome! But you know what I really fucking love? I love koi juice. I grab all like a bunch of koi's and I put them in a cup and I blend them. I blend them and then I drink it. I take like a whole like gulp. And they're so good, so nutritious, so delicious. Shinri, thank you so much. Welcome! <laughs> thank you, dude. <laughs> Nah, I'm kidding, Koi's. I was talking about soy milk and how much I hate soy milk unless I make it my unless I make it myself. <laughs> what did we walk into? <laughs> Just me going on a tangent about how much I fucking hate soy milk. Because to me, soy milk is ass. But I know some people really like soy milk. So I shouldn't go that hard with soy milk. I really shouldn't go that hard with soy milk. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah I'm like sorry I'm like sorting out my vitamins too here <laughs> I got fucking distracted by the coins <laughs> I just saw them swimming and I was just like oh fishies anyhow my vitamins <laughs> so if you guys hear this is my fucking vitamins I like to make them in little batches so I can drink them daily <laughs> my supplements but yeah dude Ugh, something about fucking so I don't like soy milk there are some brands that are pretty good though, but there are some brands that are pretty fucking bad. Ugh. Haka, take our tears, free koi juice from us to you. Oh yes, delicious, salty. Wait, aren't koi from freshwater? Am I misrepresenting my little fishy bodies here? Aren't koi like like freshwater beasts? Really? What? Huh? Really? Koi are invasive. Well, koi's are like the big carbs, right? Like the big, big boyos that they get really chunky. But aren't like goldfish are different, right? I thought, dude, I really thought koi's lived in fucking seawater, dude. I'll be fucking honest with you. Or I thought there was a species of like, of like carp. That lives in. Wait, there has to be a species of carp that fucking lives in like salt water. Hold up. I'm not making this shit up. Salt water carp. Yeah, the Tribolodon is the only cyprinic genus which tolerates salt water. There is one, a singular type of carp that lives in salt water. One. One of them. One of them. Most of them are. Freshwater. It's not a koi, but it's a carp. It's like your cousin. You know? It's just like with like crows, ravens. We're both corvids, but we're really not the same, you know? They're like my cousin. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, you guys are not those, but but hear me out, hear me out. That's why I thought you guys were salt water. <laughs> I don't know, the Koi Panions aren't regular Koi's. Yeah, the Koi Panions just float in the little, like, water bubbles, you know? Does, th does this make Shinri a waterbender? Shinri, how do you explain that? You give, give me a physical and a physics explanation of how do you manage that to happen. How does that happen? How do, how, how, give, me, give me the formula for the little, like... Like, little, like, air bubble you do. Like, do you back the water? Like, how do you prep that? Do you back the koi's first in the water, in, in, in a bag, and then you pop the bag when you solidify the water? How does that work? Do you have, like, an industrial machine for that? Do you do it by hand? Do you hire labor? Do you make other fishes do it? Or are the koi swimming in jello? Each koi can create a field that attracts the... So you make them do the work, <gasps> and I am the tyrant here. Unbelievable, Shinri. You making you make them do the hard work. That's in, that's incredible. That's incredible. I can't believe that shit. How, how could you, Shinri? <laughs> no, nah, I'm kidding. That's cute though. Cancelled. <laughs> You imagine like people going to like the, the yearly fish con and they're just like, yeah, we're going to talk about our national heroes today and Josuiji Shinri. And they <laughs> they shut the lights off and they, they turn on the PowerPoint presentation. Josuiji Shinri. <laughs> they're magical. They can do it on their own. <laughs> Speaking of cons. My boy Shinri Altarian Axel, I think they're going to be at Momocon tomorrow. So definitely, if you are nearby, go check them out. They're going to have a small little like panel. It's got to be real exciting. It's got to be pretty good. I don't pay you guys, but I provide. I keep you guys well fed. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be tomorrow, man. I'll be honest with you. I wish I could go, but I can't because I'm here fighting for my life in this jungle. <laughs> the Momocon. Dude, yeah, I saw Khan, these nuts, motherfucker. You thought I was gonna fall for that one? Eat my ass. <laughs> exciting. Very, very exciting. <laughs> I I am immune. I am immune. Immune to that anymore. I no longer fall for those traps. I no longer can be deceived. I have studied internet culture enough to not fall for those again. I'm severely built different. As some people might say, I am pretty based. <laughs> fall for what? You know, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I have evolved. <laughs> no, no, stop it. <laughs> The Pock Champ. Oh, dude, Monkas, the Pock Champ. Pepe, um, I don't know. Uh, uh, Satch. <laughs> Kimbit, thank you for the server chat. Hey, Haka, I've been really busy lately, but I wanted to praise what a beautiful cover you did. Incredible work. We love Nidal King. Really cherish all the work and passion you put forth. Sending kid we love. Thank you so much, Kimbit. I appreciate it. <laughs> People, Satch. <laughs> Feels dank, man. Oh god, not the dank memes, dude. You know, you know, back in the days, I used to like. I remember my one of my rituals when I was in middle school. It was to like visit Nine Gag every single day. I don't know if you guys remember Rage Comics, but I discovered Nine Gag when Rage Comics were like starting to happen, and. <clears throat> I remember every single fucking day, like my fucking like daily newspaper, I would go into Nine Gag, and there were like other Spanish, uh, like actually Spanish from Spain sites, that were like the Spanish equivalent of like Nine Gag. Yeah, cuanto cabrón. Yeah, 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 exactly. CC. And <laughs> I remember, I remember like literally like rating those fucking sides like every single fucking day and it will be so funny when i reach the end of what i saw yesterday and i'll be like all right i'm updated next day and i literally do my ritual every single fucking day 
and also like Facebook meme pages. Yo, Alexis, thank you so much for the three months, dude. Congratulations on the cover, Hakka. You've been working hard on your covers and have been giving us bangers after bangers. Makes sense why you're on Cover Corp. <laughs> yes, I'm from Cover Corp. <laughs> and Shinri's from Cover Carp. Guess he's a koi, you got it? Please laugh. I work really hard on this number today. <laughs> uh, so exciting, man. I love it when people... I love it when people do fucking covers. <laughs> <laughs> Please laugh. Please don't leave. No, the number's going down. <laughs> Stay here. I shake you. I violently shake you in order for you to drop all your belongings so the Hakitos can raid you. And then I let you go. <laughs> we have equipped every single Hakito with a jackhammer, a chainsaw, 10 C4 each, and one gun. And 10 bullets. Only 10 bullets. How are they going to use them? We don't know. But they're going to use them. <laughs> Rasta changed me. You know how <laughs> it actually did? <laughs> I was... <laughs> we're having like a water crisis where I live right now, right? And we actually have to like fill water jugs and shit. And I just stood at my brother when we were like picking water up. And I was like, hey brother, check it out. Just like Rust. <laughs> <laughs> They'll spit the bullets like watermelon seeds and go like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, dude, not my proudest moment, I'll be honest with you. But yeah, for, I found out why we're having so many like water issues. It turns out they're like um, fixing some of the streets and they actually cut off like the water pipes. They're like actually exchanging them. So I see like a bunch of dirt. And I see this giant pipes, like, just laying in the fucking street. And I'm just like, holy shit, that's a big-ass pipe! Like, me driving by. Like, holy fuck, that's a big-ass pipe! <laughs> so, yeah. Hopefully they're done with it soon. Yeah, hopefully they fix them soon. Because I'll be honest with you, I hate this whole, like, water recollection system that I've been doing lately. Me like a fucking excitable dog, like in the fucking like like car. I'm like holy shit, the car is back! <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Be careful! Nah, don't worry, dude. I live in the fucking middle of nowhere. If they find me, they find me. And if they, if you, if you find me, and you shake my hand. I'll I'll, I'll mug you. Yep. <laughs> you don't like R.O. Rust? No, not really. I'll be honest with you, I hate this. I, I hate this Bouncing Haka Life episode. It's pretty rough. <laughs> we could say it's pretty rust. <laughs> oh god, it's a foot that's a little puppy. What's going on? I like that my brother came home. Rust is fun because it's fictional. Mm, for some people, brother! <laughs> I live in real life rust every single day of my life. <laughs> At least there aren't any boars. There, you know, I actually live in a place where they, they've seen a couple boars. They seen a couple. No, I kid you not. They seen a couple boars, but they also seen a couple deer. Mhm. Mm and the other day that I was walking around, because I I usually take walks to like clear my clear my mind, right? I was taking a walk, and I saw something move in the bushes. And I was just like, is that fucking deer? And I just heard like, <laughs> and they just fucking ran away. And I was just like, huh? <laughs> and you, you, you saw, you see me there grabbing my fucking assault rifle. Like, all right, fucker. I'll put you to furnace. <laughs> Dude, if Vesper came and visited Sinakuti, he would absolutely love it. I live so close to nature snakes have come into my house non-poisonous snakes of course and my whole family is terrified of them and some people kill them i don't kill them what i do is that i i i, I grab them because i know how to handle reptiles and i and i release them i usually put them in like a little like either like cloth bag or i put them in a little box with like holes and i drive and i release them 
I would never, ever, ever, ever kill an animal. Only if I have to, like, survive or defend myself, I would never kill an animal. But yeah. I can count the times I have actually captured a snake. And a basilisk, too. A basilisk, too. We have, like, a water... We call it pila, which is basically, like, a small, like, water contain container in which we store water for, like, whatever you want to use it for, right? Except for drinking. And I've seen basilisks, like, smaller, like, lizards, floating in the water. And what I do is that I grab, like, a small, like, um, shovel that I have, and I basically give them, like, a lift, and they jump and they start running. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah it's it's cute it's cute my mom's like absolutely like freaked out by them the other day she was um hanging some clothes outside and she found a snake and she yelled Hata! like like this i kid you not just like that like the most like like ear tearing freaking like haka yell she's done and i was like what's wrong mom what's wrong what's wrong and she pointed down, and it was like a small little like corn snake. And I was like, ah! And I just grabbed it. And I was like, mom, this doesn't do anything. And I almost kept it as a pet, but I would never keep a wild animal as a pet because they can die if you actually like, you know, keep them as a pet, right? And I released it like really far away, or you know, close to where <laughs> to where they usually live. So yeah, I love I, I love animals, dude. I love animals. I wanted to be a vet when I was a little kid, <clears throat> but that's that's like something that's not really popular over here. <laughs> I would have to go to like Mexico if I ever wanted to actually become a vet. But I, but I wanted to take care of different kind of animals, humans, you know, <laughs> same, but I'm dumb and cool. I mean, to be honest, like, uh, like vets are severely underrated, dude. Vets are very, very like. They do so much work out of their heart because like being a vet, especially here, has to be like one of the least profitable jobs because like people don't understand the concept of what being a vet is. And my donkey, Chicha, she was dying like a year and a half ago, my dash on, <clears throat> and she had like a really bad infection and she was dying. She was like literally like a skeleton. And I, <laughs> I had to go to like the shittiest bank ever to get a loan so they could like treat her. She, it costed me about mm, I mean, like eight hundred dollars to save her. Over here, that's a lot of money. Over here, that's a lot, a lot of money. So I actually had to get a loan for that because back in that day, I wasn't blessed with this job, right? And I was actually like, you know, working every single day of my life. And um, I grabbed the loan and I went to the vet and that's how I saved my little doggy. One of these days, I'm going to show you guys a picture of Chicha. She's really cute. She's a Dachshund, but she's not a pure Dachshund. She's mixed with something. Don't fucking ask me what she is mixed with, but she's a really silly little doggy. She's really cute. <laughs> I love her to death. She's a really good doggy. Yeah, I give Chicha lots of pets. She she's like a inside outside dog. Uh, that's not Chicha. That's um, that's my my mom's pit bull that's barking right now, and she likes to play with the pit bull. So she goes out and then she comes back in. <laughs> so many mutts have terrier in them. Both of mine do. Yes, dude. <laughs> it's so funny to see like small little like 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 uh street dogs that they look like small poodles and they're so fucking funny <laughs> they're like small little poodles like they're just like they're like having the time of their fucking life just running in the freaking streets <laughs> of sino cooney and just being like the small little like chaotic doggos they can be <laughs> And they just walk there and they're like, hey, yo, what's up? You got some food, brother? <laughs> and it's silly. It's really silly to see them. I love little puppies. When I was younger, I used to buy bags of food and I used to put them like in the city. We have like small feeders that they basically grab like PVC tubes and they make like small little like like feeders, right? They put them like in parks and stuff like that. And you can remove like the top you pour you pour like kibble or whatever food they eat, chicken scraps sometimes, 
and you would like put them there and they would they would eat it so yeah <laughs> we have a couple of those where i live and i should pay them a visit i'll be honest with you i should pay them a visit because of how busy i've been i really haven't had time to like do that but i'll love to pay them a visit and probably make like a big donation to like a dog shelter or something because like i've seen how rough it is to have dog shelters and i love animals i really love like my pets i am um, my mom tells me you spend so much money on your pets because like because of age the you know difference in ge generational differences uh they don't take care of their pets so seriously especially in sinakuni and when you are a little bit older and where you're a little bit like newer or younger <laughs> not newer <laughs> there's like a small generational gap that's what i'm talking about when it comes to like taking care of animals and i've taught my mom how valuable it is to take care of your pet and she has seen that with my cat because my cat is a rescue my cat's a rescue she came to my house when it was raining i saved her and i love her i love her to, to death i would tattoo my cat's paws in my heart because i love her that much She's only one year and a half. Mm -hmm. And Chicha, my little Dashond, which I consider myself like her, her owner, her, her owner. Yeah, I consider myself her owner because I take really good care of her. Have shown my mom how much love they can give you if you really, really, really take care of them. Because, you know, it's it's good to take care of your little babies. So I'm probably going to do that. I think that's probably one of the things that I want to do. Like, I really don't like talking like, oh, I did this and I did that because that's not who I am. But if there's something I would literally do with like all the financial support you guys give me is to actually give like big donations to like animal shelters. Unfortunately, I cannot take pictures of that because I would love to share that with you guys. But it's very risky to do that. So maybe I can take a couple pictures of the little doggies, but not of like the shelter itself. But that, that's definitely something I would like to do um, one day. Probably not now, because there's a lot of stuff that I have to do first. But I'd love to do that. And yeah, I might upload a picture of Chicha later. I just have to take a really good picture of her <laughs> without reflecting or anything. But yeah, I love animals, dude. Dude, my cat does that. Right now, I have to sleep with my door closed because the amount of fucking equipment I have in my desk right now, it's fucking insane. I have my stream deck, I have my switch, I have my headphones, I have so many wires and cables that I've transferred all my cat's belongings to the freaking living room <laughs> and I really don't let her in anymore because cables are fucking expensive, okay? And all this shit is expensive, right? And sometimes I bring her over and she takes a nap with me, but I'm like holding her. I'm like, you're not escaping little shit. I know what you're doing. I know what you are <laughs> and when i wake up i'm like all right that was enough affection for today go do your own thing and then i go out and of course i play with her i brush her i feed her i change her litter right she she's a severe cable chumper she has been banished yeah she's been banished from my room <laughs> but yeah that's definitely something i'll like to do someday I know, kitties love them cables, and she's going through her cat purity right now, like, she's like a really young adult cat, she's like, what, a year and four months old, she's been spayed and everything, so she has turned into a lazy house cat, and it's so funny, cause like, <laughs> she comes to me, right, and she stares at me with like her big, like, eyes, and then she just like tips over, <laughs> she just falls flat on the ground, and lays down there. <laughs> that's all she fucking does every single fucking time she sees me and that means pick me up and i basically just pick her up i pet her you know i, I ruffle her because she's like really cute and, and floofy and i just put her down and then she goes there to deal with her business and everything yeah she she does a plute exactly she does a plute and then she does a blem and then she does a bleh <laughs> she's really cute i love my i love my pets i really really love my pets one of my dream pets is a reptile pet. I really want to either get a Crested Gecko or a Toki Gecko. I would love to get a Blue Tongue Skink. But I'll be honest with you, my real, real, real dream reptile pet is a Tegu. A Tegu or an Iguana. 
<sighs> I would love to have them. Chameleons Crimson, they are very, very hard to take care of. That's the reason why I don't have either a chameleon or an iguana, because I would have to dedicate my life to them. Have like a, a specific room for them, which I don't have for right now, and literally dedicate my life with them. That's why I like them, Remo. I love them because they're mean and they say, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. And that's charming to me. I am a Toki Gecko. <laughs> They're very aggressive, and they're very like, <clears throat> <clears throat> they groan a lot. <laughs> That's why I love them. Because like, they, they used to call them fuck you geckos. They bite, I know, they bite. They don't bite that hard, but I've seen them bite. But I, I think that's charming and endearing, okay? In their own way, I will be, I, I, I will be the change. I will domesticate a Toki gecko until they become the, the gentle little buddies they are. No, don't bite them back. <laughs> no, but I, I love to have a Cresta because of how chill they are. Actually, my friend has like Cresta geckos and it's so, it's so fascinating like seeing the little babies. But I do love how colorful they are. Leopard geckos are also really um, easy to take care of, but they require live food. And I don't think I have the patience to race crickets <laughs> or roaches. <laughs> I don't really think I have the patience for that. <laughs> I love I love reptiles. I could talk about reptiles all day long. But I would love to have a reptile pet someday. Which I do think I'll probably have a crested gecko. Because crested geckos, they eat fruit smoothies. Yeah. They eat fruit smoothies. You basically grab like small powder and you like and you make you give them like like you know like fruit smoothies <laughs> what about bearded dragons i love bearded dragons but it, it, it comes to the same issue lauren live feed i do not have the patience to raise live feed or nor the nor have the context to get like crickets in bulk bro reptile talk please i love them so much <laughs> i adore reptiles yo ayumi thank you so much for the super chat your first super thank you so so much Hi Hakaten, it's my first time to send super chat to someone. I love your cover and singing. Thank you for thank you for your work. And you're my OC. <laughs> thank you so much, Ayumi. I appreciate it. Get a Cresta Gecko then. I want to get a Cresta Gecko. But I'll probably have to export that little buddy. I'm probably gonna have to like travel another country and get the little buddy and Mr. Worldwide them. Like nationality change that gecko. <laughs> I'll love to. <laughs> I love I love reptiles. It's funny because, you know, I was thrifting the other day and I found an aquarium. I think it's Exoterra. That's the brand. Like a big aquarium, like the Jumbo one, like the XL ones. And I immediately bought that shit because I was like, I would never find this anywhere. And I bought it. It's there in my living room doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. And I want to see it full one day. I literally have the table right next to me where I'll put that puppy. <laughs> I want a reptile to either a snake or a lizard. Not sure what species at the moment since I cannot get one until I move out. Yeah, they're, they're a responsibility for sure. They're a responsibility and they're a commitment, not a responsibility because that sounds like a chore, but they are a commitment. If you feel you're ready for the commitment and you're ready to dedicate a piece of your life towards them, definitely go ahead and do it. Ayumi, thank you so much for coming. No problem at all. Thank you so much for coming to the Satsu. In your case, I have no space, but hear me out. What if you make a PC case? What if you build a PC and you also make it a terrarium? You gotta optimize space, bro. You gotta think about it. You gotta think about the bigger picture here. You don't need a closet. You need a reptile terrarium. See? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Hopefully one day you can have the space for it. It'll be nice. You know what I actually love watching too? People that make terrariums and they can make like small ecosystems. That's also something I really love watching. Mealworms in the hard drive. <laughs> they make you run faster, bro. Just keep it far from the fan. No, turn the fan upside down and make a small like uh like gyratory like platform for them. Like it allow them to showcase them, showcase themselves. You know, they're like wee wee wee. <laughs> It's called a vivarium. <laughs> oh, vivarium. Got it, got it. 
I feel like a Terraria on PC sounds good only... It sounds good only in theory. It'll be horrible. <laughs> For now, I just watched the channel Snake Discovery for my Reptile Fix. Ooh, I... Ah, man. I forget what channels I watch for reptiles, but I actually do watch a, a good bunch of them. <laughs> True, because of all the heat from the PC. Yeah, all the heat, all the dust. It's just not good. It's just a silly. Me being silly, you know? <laughs> the tiny toys your siblings leave out. Ah, uh, but man, I love reptiles. Reptiles? I would also get a bird. My mom has a bird called Rico. He's loud as fuck. He thinks he's a dog. But he's, he's been really quiet recently. I think he's just turning old. He's a, he's a green parrot. <laughs> he's just turning really, really old. Rico is like almost eight years old. Which is funny, because Rico is the name inspiration for my mascot, Ricardo. So Rico, Ricardo, Ricardo, Rico. <laughs> That's where I actually got the name from. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my mom loves that parrot. She would give, it, she would give her life for that parrot. But he's a little bit old. He's probably older than eight years old because we actually, he's a rescue too. We got him from, the, from a couple of neighbors that really didn't want to take care of them anymore. So we actually like adopted them. Hopefully life doesn't do its life cycle soon, but he's a really good parrot or she or them. I don't know what they are. <laughs> or maybe the parrot is plotting something. No, that parrot is so sweet, dude. That parrot, like whenever my mom comes, she just like goes like, <laughs> and and she crawls like my mom's finger, and he's there. But whenever I go and I want to pet him, he's like, ah, ah. <laughs> like he tries to bite. <laughs> when Enrico's voice note, I'll love to do that someday. <laughs> but yeah, maybe that bird's plotting something against me though, not my mom. <laughs> it's a good burbo. It's a really, a really, really good burbo for sure. I got two burps. One is turning 13, 13 years old. Holy crap. That's a little sibling. <laughs> Holy shit. That's a really tiny human. That's insane. Birds are crazy. Sometimes I forget birds can live very long. <laughs> I love it. Like, wow, 13 years old. That's a fucking little sibling. That's a small human. But it's, it's a bird. <laughs> That's very sick, though. It's actually very, very cool. I really want to do a pet review someday. I think I might do one next month where I basically do like a hashtag and we go through it together and we actually like review your pets. <laughs> I'd love to do that. Quite long lifespan. Yes, they actually live for so long. Oh, he's a cockatiel. They live, they live up to 20? Holy shit. Don't, don't their lifespans get shorter if they're in captivity though? I don't know. Hopefully he lives 40 years old or she lives 40 years old. <laughs> It'll be not. Can we keep rocks as pets? Actually, one of the Hakitos made a bouncing Haka rock. <laughs> and I love that. So yes, you can have a pet rock. Those won't die. <laughs> pet review? Yeah, I'll, I'll love to do it. I, I just have to ask Manachan the logistics of it. Just probably just have like pictures of the animal itself. <laughs> And not you holding the pet. Or just your hand, at least. Haka, why do I hate fish? I love fish. Fish are cute. I had multiple goldfish when I was younger. It's just a small little bit that I do. Because, you know, the the Hakitos and the Koipanians have the great the great Hakito war. <laughs> I, don't, I, I, I love fish. I don't hate it. Fish, though, it's very yummy. <laughs> but, yeah. I love animals, dude. I love animals so much. I love animals. I wish I could be vegan, but I just love eggs so much. And I just love the taste of animals. <laughs> <laughs> Huge respect though, for sure. <laughs> We're still at war. No, 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 no. We made a we made a diplomatic uh, truce with Shinri. We're now in this we're, we're now both in good terms. The same with the axolotls and the great trade. The great trade treaty that we have. <laughs> There's a lacto ovo vegetarian too. Is it called right? Uh, I don't know, man. Um, where I live, it's really hard to find alternatives, unfortunately, to like meat and stuff like that. You know who actually inspired me to like become vegetarian or slash vegan? Beast Boy from Teen Titans or DC Comics. 
because I heard that he was like a vegetarian because, you know, he's like animal. <laughs> yeah, so I actually got inspired by him. I had like a, I had a bit of a face. It's pretty cute. Yeah, I I usually, I I mostly keep my meat consumption to chicken and fish. Sorry, Koi Panin. But I really don't try, I really don't, don't, um, don't go for red meat that much. I usually just keep to like white meat or like, you know, like very like lean cuts and stuff like that. <laughs> I worship tofu. I've never had tofu before. I would love, I would love, love, love to eat tofu, but I just live in the jungle, dude. Like everything is just so limited here. Like the la last week I went to the supermarket and I saw this really weird ass wrapped fucking frozen pizzas. And I remembered the other day when I said, I was just like, I've never had a frozen pizza. And I was like, shit, should I buy it? But it just looks so like badly wrapped and badly fucking frozen. That was just like, I'm not going to risk a fucking stomach infection just because I want to crave this. I would just rather go to fucking Little Caesars. It's probably the same thing. <laughs> I love spicy fried tofu. Mm, I seen really good like tofu nuggets yeah i seen tofu nuggets i seen like really prepped up tofu but i wonder if i can make my own tofu i probably can with the curd of soy milk yeah i can make tofu mm -hmm. how rural is my place that i can very very dude very 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 i'm blessed that I have a really decent internet connection enough to do content here. But it's very, very rural to the point I hear horses outside of my house sometimes. <laughs> Macurade, welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome. I was actually just about to read into you because I want to keep this stream for like two hours. <laughs> but we're going to keep it up. Let's see who's streaming so we can send them over. I think Axel might be playing the PP pee, pee game. <laughs> Macurade, welcome, 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 Macurade, welcome, drop sites. Is that is that their names? Welcome. <laughs> I hope the collab was very fun. It's nice seeing you guys here. Welcome, 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 welcome. Yeah, that BB game. <laughs> Scythe kicks, Scythe kicks. Got it, got it, got it. Scythe kicks. Welcome. <laughs> nice seeing you here. It's a pleasure to meet you. Am I gonna play it, Haka? Do you guys want me to play the PB game? It looks very explicit though very very explicit <laughs> do you really want me to play that game i really don't want to play it i'll be honest with you <laughs> it's very explicit though it'll be funny to play it it'll be legit like hilarious because you know haha dick right i'm like 13 years old but it's it's very it's a little bit too explicit for my even my humor and I'm a very explicit person. <laughs> I'll love to do it though. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but it looks very explicit. I'm like scared my channel's gonna get fucking banned if I play it. <laughs> I'm probably gonna make a really like bad dick joke and it's gonna like trigger like the YouTube police and they're gonna message Yago and they'll be like, your talent bouncing Haka just made a penis joke. And Yago will be like, ah, oh, I see. <laughs> No, I don't think I want to subject you guys to that. I'll do it if I if I, I'll do it if one day I'm feeling a little bit crazy. But I probably won't do it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Axel is North Elysian. He he's built different. He's truly he's truly 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 built different. Do it with membership? No, I really don't want to do a, a penis game in membership, man. I would rather watch anime. <laughs> I would rather watch anime, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> like, it's it sounds fun. It sounds like a fun idea, but I would rather watch anime. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, really? I would rather watch anime, you know? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> it's just like it's funny don't get me wrong it's really really freaking funny 
but it's uh, I just uh, I don't know I don't know the way they move is just so <laughs> weird to me maybe play the pp wait can that game be multiplayer oh if that's the case <laughs> how to lose your job in one stream yeah literally seriously <laughs> we choose one day mana chan's not <laughs> i'll play it in a weekend when mana chan's gone <laughs> i'm gonna wait when mana chan goes to vacation and i'll play it <laughs> so when she comes back i'm like oh mana chan woo! you're very well rested right well do i have a job for you <laughs> So they come back and they're like, what? <laughs> they come back with like their freaking like bags. They're like Hawaiian shirt. And they're like, hey, Haka, I'm back from my vacation. And I'm like sitting like, you know, like petting my cat. Like I do like the, I do like the chair spin. I'm like, I was expecting you. <laughs> <laughs> Mana Chan's gonna break down the spicy water. If that she probably breaks out the spicy water. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. <laughs> hey, I'm an idol, bro. I never said anything about being a being a. I never said anything about being a say so idol. <laughs> Mana Chan ends up extending her vacation again. <laughs> yeah, she just turns around and she's like. Uh, another ticket to Hawaii, please. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, okay. <laughs> no, huge respect to all, all, all staff members from Hollow Stars, dude. I, I seriously love them all. I am such a social bird. I talk to everyone. I joke with everyone. I hope they don't hate me because <laughs> that'll be pretty fucking awkward. <laughs> Because I, I like to say hi to them. I'm like the water cooler conversation guy. I'm like, you know, filling my water bottle. And I'm like, hey, did you watch the game last night? <laughs> and they're just like staring at me like, not again. <laughs> yeah, the water cooler conversation. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, fucking Axel serious, am I right? <laughs> uh you either love me or you hate me. That's the charm of Bonsling Haka. <laughs> it's really fun though. I love being very conversational with people. I love I love having conversations. It's really good. I'm very social. Super social. <laughs> Lo, Batata, thank you so much, dude. Yeah, my senpais are really sweet. But of course, with my senpais, I control myself. Like, I can be super extroverted, <clears throat> but I feel a lot, a lot, a lot of respect for them. <laughs> but yeah. It's fun. It's really, really fun, though. I love talking to people. I love meeting new people. I think one of the best aspects of this job is networking. <clears throat> and I just love like meeting friends I, I i truly go by the club penguin slogan waddle around and meet new friends that's me <laughs> but I'm, I'm also i also have a really low social battery so i am really the ambivert i'm an extroverted introvert or i'm an introverted extrovert whatever you really want to like <laughs> name it honestly amen brother <laughs> god i miss club penguin dude I'm an ambi burp. <laughs> That's a good one. People are a mixture of everything. Yeah, I'm just built different, dude. I'm built different. The wise words of Club Penguin, absolutely, brother. <laughs> I'm an ambi burp. Ambi burp, ambi burp, ambi burp. Ambi burp, ambi burp. Rakitos, right now, we so fat, we waddle waddle. <laughs> the Hakitos waddle waddle because they're very well feed. Yes, yes. I feel I am an ambivert that leans towards introversion. Ah, uh, same kinda. I love talking to people, but sometimes I hate people, <laughs> especially like in person. Online, I'm very social. Like for example, if I meet my online friends IRL, I would absolutely 
like fill them with love i will like hug them i like i'm very touchy i'm very physical with my affection but if i go outside and a stranger approaches me i'm like <laughs> what do you want <laughs> or if they're like uh excuse me mister and i'm like i look down I'm like yeah yes how can i help you or i i, I always get hit with the uh, excuse me ma'am because of my long hair excuse me ma'am and they're like <clears throat> yes <laughs> and they're like oh I'm, I'm sorry um i like your shirt and i'm like oh thank you <laughs> yeah it depends a lot <laughs> no i i say look down because i'm like picturing them as small as these hakito you know i'm like like yes <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I I always give like direct eye contact. That's like one of my best and worst traits ever. Because some people really like eye contact and some people really fucking hate eye contact. And I'm the best of both words with that shit. Because sometimes I don't give eye contact, but sometimes I give like a very penetrating stare. Like a very like, hey, hello. And they're like, <laughs> they start shaking. <laughs> Eye contact is very hard, but I mastered it, dude. <laughs> Mac, thank you so much. Thank you so much for being a member as well. I appreciate it. A very versatile guy. I like to describe myself as a social chameleon, I'll be honest with you. A social chameleon is definitely a really good way of describing me. Because while to myself, I can be a very weird creature, I can camouflage myself depending on the situation. Mm -hmm. If you're hyper with me, I'll be hyper with them. If you're cold and distant with me, I'll try to be welcoming, but mostly cold and distant. If they're mean to me, I'll be normal to them. I never reciprocate people being mean to me. I think that's a waste of time. Even if my worst enemy wishes me the worst, I always wish them the best. Mm -hmm. I match the energy to an accurate level, but also to the best outcome of the level. Mm -hmm. I adapt, yeah. I really survive and adapt and overcome. <laughs> yeah, it's always good to be flexible. Yeah, kill them with kindness. <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes I can be a little bitch, I'll be honest with you. Sometimes I can be like, hey, what the fuck do you want? <laughs> Yo, Mac, thank you so much for the five gifted. I appreciate it. <laughs> thank you so, so, so much. But yeah, sometimes there's a, there's a saying that we say in Sunakuni a lot. That it's in Spanish. It says, me bajo el canasto, which means like, I put my basket down. Like, ideally, you keep all your thoughts collected in a neat little basket on top of your head. But when you gotta put your basket down, oh, brother, I put it down. <laughs> like, when I have to do it, I have to do it. You know what I mean? I had to do it to him. <laughs> but I try to be very kind. That's for sure. Like, the word is already shit. Why make it shittier by being an asshole? You know what I mean? Kindness is a really nice perk to have. It's a very nice asset to have. Kindness, patience, and mindfulness. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I love being human. I love being alive. Yeah, kindness is very metal, fellas. If you guys want to be like the top metaru idolu, be kind. Be rooten. Be tootin and by God be shooting, but never forget to be kind. <laughs> Absolutely, never ever forget to be kind. <laughs> Have you guys seen that meme? I fucking love that meme. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not the mouse. It's a frog. <laughs> Not, not the rat boys, oh god! <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> no, but that's a good meme. That's a good cowboy meme. You know what? Sometimes I feel like a cowboy. And I want to be the best darn cowboy of them all. I'll be honest with you. 
fellas, I'll be a cowboy. And you can't stop me from being a cowboy. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I wanna be a cowboy, baby. Exactly. You never know when you wanna be a cowboy. And I wanna be a cowboy. <laughs> USA! USA! Oh, uh, man. My lord be shooting. But don't forget to be kind. <laughs> oh man i love you guys <laughs> i'm probably gonna wrap it up here it's been a pleasure having a lovely conversation with you guys and going to multiple tangents that's the magic of the bouncing haka satsudans i talk a lot and a lot of shit <laughs> i'm fluent in three languages english spanish and bullshit so thank you so much for coming thank you so much for being so sweet so kind so generous thank you so much for all the gifted and all the super chats you guys are freaking amazing. No, actually, let's not finish right now. Let's wrap up, but let's read some of the super chats that I missed because you guys, you guys went fucking ham. Holy moly. So let me actually read a couple super chats that we have here. And after that, we're going to wrap up this lovely, beautiful satsu. And we're going to read to whoever's life. Probably, probably, fuck, I can speak. Probably playing Rust. If you're new here and you just came, please listen to my newest cover. I'm really, really, really proud of it. And thank you so much for coming. I hope you guys stay. I'm a pretty funny guy. Most of the time. <laughs> so, Roha, thank you so much for the Akasupa. I missed this one. I'm going to miss this. Ah! But congrats, you hardworking burp. Happy for you, Haka. Y'all feeding the fields out here. <laughs> thank you so much for the Akasupa, Roha. I appreciate it. Also, Kairi, thank you so much for the super chat. Yay, more Haka covers. Let's go! I won't be there for the premiere, but I'm going to listen to the heck out of it tomorrow. Cheers. Thank you so, so much for the super chat, Kaidi. Vigito, thank you so much for your super chat as well. Amazing in every aspect. You're truly the idol we needed. Taskaru and bless. <laughs> Alice Song, bless. Thank you so much for the super chat. Kama, talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show stopping, and spectacular. <laughs> thank you so much, Kama. I appreciate it. Razor, you as well. That was fire. Thank you for the super chat. The Spirit Pochi, thank you for your super chat as well. Haka Idol, thank you so much for the super chat, May. You made the song yours. You absolutely demolished our perfect idol. Bless. <laughs> Pudding Cup, thank you so much for the mounting Hakito Supremo. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for being so kind. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, Mogu, Mogu Muge channel. It is so rare to hear a voice that can make a song, a song once owned. The power you have in your vocal is unique and amazing. Can't wait to hear more. Thank you so much, Mogu. I appreciate it. Asu, thank you so much for the super chat as well. Best to idol. Rat poisoning with a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Leonardo picture. Love forever. Thank you. <laughs> Rat poisoning. <laughs> Gav is battle. Welcome. I was just talking about you. I was just saying that you're probably eating ice cream, but then I realized you're watching Spider-Man. <laughs> thank you so much, dude. Thank you for taking the time to listen to it. Greetings, garlic battle. <laughs> Okay, did I miss? I think I missed a couple super chats here. Empus, thank you so much for the super chat. I love your cover so much, Haka. Thank you so much. Joker Alice, thank you so much for the super chat as well. I'm becoming a big fan. I want to listen to all your music. Mio, thank you for the super chat. You absolutely killed it, dude. Thank you so much. Senithinia, is that bossy, Haka? The ultimate coolest and cutest exorcist idol in all the universe? You killed it, Haka. You're truly an idol. You're amazing. Thank you so much, Seni. Arnulfo, thank you so much for the super chat as well. Hermano, your new cover sounded awesome. <laughs> Jax, thank you so much as well. Haka, mi hermano, ya te vas convirtiendo en un verdadero idol. I can't wait to hear more of your stuff, man. Thank you so much, Jax. Also, Luis Andres, thank you so much as well for your super chat. Congrats on the cover, Haka. I hope to hear a lot of more in the future. Let me send you the positive bites. Como si fuera la genki de Goku. Thank you so much. Also, Herapath, thank you so much for the super chat as well. Congrats on the cover. The growls, bro. I was shook. Keep it up. Thank you so much, Hera. I appreciate it. Haru, thank you for your super chat. Your cover is so motivating. I hope to reach the same style as you, Haka. Never stop being an amazing bird boy we love. Thank you so much, dude. Skylar, every time I think you peaked in the amount of effort you put into your music, you find ways to outdo yourself. Sasugar, perfect idol. Thank you so much, Skylar. Also, Devi and Uta, thank you so much for your super chat. Damn, said Uta, and Devi said, Taskaru, Taskaru, you killed it, Haka. Bless. And I think I read everything. Oh, no, wait. You may know. Thank you so much for the super chat. You changed my musical ear completely. Your echo. I love your acapellas. 
Uh, Condoriano, thank you for the super chat. I can't imagine an original song for you that switches between idol songs to metalcore. That's actually a great idea. <laughs> uh, oh shit, I missed this one with a <laughs> with a Gohan profile picture. How did I miss that one? It's the it's the Super Saiyaman. Just a quick question, but have you heard One One Fire from Cut Zombies? I think you would kill it as a cover. Yes, I love the Call of Duty Zombie soundtrack. It's so fantastic. It's mwah, beautiful. <laughs> But that's all the super chats that we got that we got for today. Let me actually see if we got any super chats for the Oh no, we don't have any super chats for the cover. Okay. But Hakitos, thank you so so much for all the super chats and all the gifted memberships. Thank you so much for supporting me and allowing me to do more of this for you guys. Thank you so so much. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Fetch me their souls! <laughs> yes, dude. I fucking love that. <laughs> Last of loss, thank you for the super chat as well. Your music never misses. Thank you for another amazing cover, Hawkeye. No, thank you. Thank you, Olasi, for supporting me and allowing me to do this as well. Every single cent counts, every single penny, every gift and membership counts. And I'm really, 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 really grateful for them. Thank you so much for being here and making my dreams come true. <laughs> but yes, my hockey toes. I shall depart because I haven't had dinner as per usual. Bouncing Haka never eats. He should fucking learn how to eat early. But no, you know what? I'm from Sinakuni and we don't believe in early dinner. Haka la vista, my beloveds. Mwah! I'll read you guys to whoever is streaming. Bye bye. I'm gonna read you guys to Axel. Uh, dick and balls, am I right, fellas? <laughs>